Listen, if you canceled your restaurant reservation last minute or you weren't able to show up for some reason, would you be mad if you got charged for it? Yeah. So according to the New York Times, restaurants are increasingly charging these cancellation fees, sometimes as high as $100 a head. Is this understandable, Sasha? Mm. Yes and no. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's understandable. Like, it's, uh, the, like... Financially, it's a hard time both on business owners and restaurateurs, particularly is a tricky business, but it's also a hard time for families and individuals as well. Yeah. And I think, like, you know, there has to be something slightly less severe, like, as effective, but maybe less financially severe. Because I wonder, like, is the average order there worth $100? Like, like there's no guarantee mm -hmm. that I would have went there and spent that much money, per mm -hmm. se. I think, you know, one um, instance that I've seen, which is where the restaurant has said, here's the deal. We ask that you cancel within 24 hours. If you don't, you can't book again, right? Oh, That's something that yeah. feels nice. very drastic, yeah. right? That feels very drastic. I wouldn't want to make that mistake mm. again, mm. but mm. I do, like it doesn't cost me two hundred dollars. But you also have repercussions for what it may I like, impact. That's a great idea. I like, I like that you came up with an, like, an alternate version of this because like, I know for me, I so rarely go out for dinner. I think that's probably a lot of people these days. So if I made a reservation at a place I really wanted to go to, and someone in my family got sick or I got sick, and I called and found out this there was a charge of a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars, as was the case in this. I would like, <laughs> I would be rage filled. Yeah. Because, like, you know, what's the alternative? You show up with a puking child or that you're throwing up? Mm -hmm. Like, they don't want that either. But I think that the, what this comes from is the fact that many people out there don't see making reservations as a serious, like, committed, yes. a commitment. We have a generation of people who are commitment phobic. Yes. And this includes their relationship to restaurants. <laughs> are you this? Listen, you already know my nickname is what? Andrea Bale. <laughs> and I will be honest with you. Okay, so when we make those plans, and I'm sure you guys relate to this, you know when you make those plans, you're like, oh my gosh, let's go out two weeks from now, Friday night, 100%. let's do it. Da -da -da. <laughs> Friday arrives, your whole body's like, oh, please cancel. I don't wanna go. So this for me gives me like anxiety because I'm like, oh, I'm that person, they're gonna catch me because I don't know how I'm gonna feel the day that I made yeah. that reservation. But what the about the kind of person who makes the reservations of the we want options reservationist? Yeah. You know the person I'm talking about? So let's go back to your girls' night, Andrea. Yeah. So we all want to go out, and there's so many different people with different dietary restrictions and, and desires. And so you're like, okay, you know what? You're the organizer, so now you're going to call three, four, five restaurants and make reservations. Do you guys do that? Oh, yeah, my girlfriends do that. Where it's like now, it's like, let's have options so we could go here, here, here. That person needs to be punished. You cannot do that to restaurants. Okay, how about we say so this? that's the person I how think you're targeting. This? If you have a party of more than six people, you're gonna get charged because they are that's yes. a, that's yeah, a big that's table, fair. right? Yeah. But if not, if you made a reservation, you've got 15 minutes. And this is from a girlfriend, Gail, who's never on time. Gail, I love you, but you're never on time. You have 15 <laughs> minutes. After that, your table is gone. Yeah. And you'll have to wait like everybody else. Yeah. How about that? Which yeah. is, I think, yeah. the policy in most fair, places. Right? And it seems yeah. fair. Yeah. It does. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.